Hey Water Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for the 20th of March. This is for uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to tip you down because you got cards flying out already. So your guys' first three cards are the Hermit, the Four of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. The person you are dealing with is Temperance. Whoa. The Five of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Your guys' outcome. Outcome for Wednesday the 20th is the Two of Wands in reverse. The Eight of Swords in reverse. And the Eight of Cups. Your guys' bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Queen of Cups in reverse, the Empress in reverse, and the Chariot in reverse. Bottom of the deck and overall um, outcome is the Nine of Swords. So a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of tears cried, a lot of emotions have gone into this, a lot of thoughts. Um, you're not taking any decision in this relationship lightly. Um, we'll start with your guys' shared energy. So you're just emotionally drained. Um, you love this person, but you just you're finding it very hard to you're to stay in love with this person. There is uh, a lot of instability within this connection, and you're just you're out of your element right now with you being in the reverse here. Um, you wanted something to get off the ground. It didn't. You wanted to create something with this person. It didn't happen. Um, you could have been a third party in this situation and you thought they were coming towards you and they weren't um, or they're not. Or uh, this could be you as the spouse um, and it's just not going anywhere with the um, chariot in reverse. All actions are in a halt. Nothing's moving forward. Um, for the majority of you, I do feel you are the third party in a situation. Um, and they're not coming towards you to um, begin this, to have this new beginning like you were told they were. And you're just emotionally drained. You're just, you just don't know how much more you can take with um, all those in reverse. That's a lot of uh, major energy in reverse there. You also have the Hermit here in reverse. Um, you are coming out of a time of pause with this person, with the Chariot in reverse and now the Hermit in reverse. You are coming out of the time of the Hermit. You have, um, in this time of separation, in this time of silence between the two of you, you have taken um, the action, the time needed to... Uh, take a step back to decide what it is that you really want and to um, to emerge from that energy um, and you are finding the confidence you are finding your value you are coming out um, much more confident much more sure of yourself and your vibration is so much higher than um, what it was when the this relationship split in the past you guys also have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So you could have thought you were moving um, homes with this person. You could have thought you were building a solid foundation with this person when really um, they were nurturing a different relationship. And remember, this can be vice versa. That Your person could be up here and you could be down here. But um, this relationship couldn't get off the ground. This relationship couldn't have a solid foundation built on it. Um, you guys didn't get a fair shot at this because they were nurturing a different relationship. They had possibly another home and an, another partner um, other than you. And that's why this relationship couldn't move forward. That's why you couldn't, um, you know, start a home together or, or move forward um, finding any stability within each other. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Okay, that's way too many. Why is Ace of Cups here for our water signs for Wednesday? Oh my goodness. All right. The Empress. 
Beautiful. So after leaving, you know, this energy behind, after being a part of this third party that was not going anywhere, um, after it emotionally drained you, you went within, you found your self-confidence, you found your, you know, you, your um, value, your worth, you're letting go of this situation that didn't um, bring you any stability. You possibly because they had someone else they had a home with, but um, this is also nurturing yourself and, uh, being able to know that you can provide on your own, that you can provide your own stability. Um, you do have a new beginning here where you will be able to create the life that you want, where you will be able to create um, a new emotional beginning with somebody who wants to create with you just as much, who wants to build a relationship and a family with you. Now, I'm also seeing it another way. So, water signs. You possibly could have the third party um, if you have two females in your life. One fire sign, one earth sign. Um, you, you are with the earth sign. You have a home right now with an earth sign. Um, and you're wanting, but you have a spiritual connection with a fire sign. You want a new beginning. You want a new start in love. Um, and you will... Uh, choose the person that you feel you can create the best life with. For some of you, you have that situation with the two people, two the fire sign and the earth sign that you are um, having to choose from, uh, and you are choosing the empress, um, which could be the mistress here. So that's what I'm getting. So those are the three different situations that are coming to me now. Um, the person you are dealing with, um, if you are dealing with a fire sign, they have found balance. They have taken this time to heal. They, um, let's see, why is the temperance here for you water signs? Why is the temperance here and who they're dealing with? Thank you. Temperance. Whoa. Temperance clarified by temperance. This person is a high vibration individual. This person knows how to heal and knows how to heal themselves and others. This person is a healer. Most definitely this person is connected with spirit. Most definitely this person gets their messages from spirit. Um, and you could be dealing with a twin flame because the bottom of your clarifying deck now is the hermit. So I do feel that you are going to choose, uh, this mistress that you have a new beginning with, um, or that you want a new beginning with. Or um, if your earth sign female is a Taurus, I feel that you possibly could go with them too. I'm seeing it both ways. But whoever you are connected with, holy cow, they have healed after this third party situation um, because uh, water signs for this for this group, I am seeing that you are the one that had the third party. And this person is really finding some healing. Now, if you're not a part of a, or if you are not the one that had the third party water signs, and your person had a third party, then this top row is your person and this is you. Um, because whoever it was that had the, uh, was a subject to a third party, that this is their energy. But this is so strong. Their vibration is so high that they don't even realize their power. Like people are drawn to them. Um, could be Sagittarius, double Sagittarius um, for some, Sagittarius Sun and Sagittarius Moon. Um, wow. This is incredible. So, um, the person that was a part of the third party, they are walking away, however. This is walking away, walking away times two. Um, they can't handle the, um, the pain, the hurt that this third party situation has created. And they are moving forward on their spiritual journey because they know, uh, they know that it's out there. They know that they deserve a relationship that is, uh, fulfilling emotionally as well as um you know there's respect and and only two people <laughs> bottom of the deck now is a two of cups wow so this person is moving towards the ten of pentacles situation um they have dealt with their shadow side they are so strong with this temperance energy because they have learned to temper their light and their dark side and they have it just so finely tuned that they are so in balance and so powerful as far as healing goes. Um, but this person had a lot of karma to deal with as well. Um, and they had to go through a death process in order to um, get to this temperance healing. 
Now your guys' bottom of the deck is you got or over outcome bleh, for the day is you guys were at a crossroads. You're no longer at that crossroads. You are picking a path and going to be walking down it very soon. Um, this is also manifesting um, the outcome that you desire. You also have the eight of swords in reverse and the eight of cups in the upright, which is also in your partner's uh, energy. So why is the two of wands here? Okay, and the eight of swords. Okay, and the eight of cups. All right, bottom of the deck now is the Ten of Pentacles. My goodness. Holy cow. Water signs, what a positive day for you. All right, so we'll go back to your shared energy. Um, you are just emotionally drained over this family situation, especially if you are the one with the um, third party. If you are the one that has two people to choose from, you are um, no longer in love with somebody that you have a family with. You're wanting to move forward with this um, third party, but... You're scared to leave this empress energy. You're scared to leave possibly the mother or father of your children because you're scared of lack. You're scared of financially struggling. Or this is their energy, remember. If they are the one with the third party, they are in a loveless marriage and they fear leaving that marriage due to um, finances. And you're not moving forward because you're going within. Um, you're going to find that spiritual light. Or they are. One of the two. So everything's kind of on a halt. But the outcome of the day is the two of uh, wands, picking a path and walking down it. And you most definitely, water signs, are going to be successful in whatever pa uh, path you pick, especially if you're moving in the path of a fire sign. Um, very, very successful outcome with that relationship. You're no longer feeling stuck or trapped in this loveless marriage. You are figuring out a way to walk away from that with the five of swords again in that um, position. Uh, you are walking away and you are doing it very quickly. You are now going to start speaking your truth about the situation, about how or what you want to do. You are walking away from a marriage or a a long-term commitment for a lot of you because you are speaking the truth and um, and letting them know that that you feel there's more to a relationship that you want to find. Um, you're finally speaking and walking and talking and you're living in your truth. Um, with the Ace of Swords, you have had an, some enlightenment while in this hermit You've been enlightened to what really is out there, what you are really meant to do, what you're really meant to have, and who you're really meant to be with. So it's allowing you to get out of the stuck position. And now that you no longer feel stuck, you're doing it in a hurry. You are getting out and moving forward in the path that you're meant to take with the person you're meant to be with. All right. I hope that wasn't too confusing, Water Science. Oh. All right, let's see what our water signs need to know from our romance angels. Spirit angels, one card for our water signs for Wednesday, March 20th. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your family. It's not just your parents. Could be your parents. Could be your children, your spouse, your, you know, siblings. However it is, there needs to be some healing going on. And, uh, and your love life will benefit most definitely. All right. Spirit guides and angels and goddesses, what one card of guidance do our water signs need for the 20th? Thank you. All right. You guys got to start delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything yourself. And that is the goddess uh, Green Terra. 
And we'll see what the book says about her. Okay, it says, When you feel resentment in your heart because you're carrying more than your share of the load, you're doing no favors to anyone, including yourself. You need to ask for help to ensure that you have private time for contemplation and rest. One of the reasons why I am able to sit so peacefully is that I know the secret of true pro productivity. It doesn't come through struggle or strife. Rather, it comes from clear and focused mind that's unchallenged by indecisiveness. You see, making decisions is the shortest route to triumph triumphant passages. Once you make up your mind and the rest follows quite naturally. Therefore, I urge you to sit quietly and follow the footsteps of your mind. Be open to your heart's meanderings. They will quietly lead to you where you're they will bleh, they will quietly lead you to make your most important decisions and the rest will fall into place. Once you pick a path, everything that is meant for you will be will be there for you. Don't try don't try to wait a minute. Don't try to be Superman or Superwoman. Allow yourself to sit back to rest and to listen to your mind and where it's trying to lead you. So sit in that hermit. Quiet your mind. And you will, and as the outcome, this card fits perfectly. As the outcome, you will be led to the path you're meant to take. And that's when everything will fall into place just perfectly for you water signs. So I hope you guys enjoyed your Wednesday message. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I send you love, light, and God bless.